what happens when you die in my family is they put you in a wooden coffin and they put you on the back of a horse and they put your boots in the stirrups backwards and they haul you up on the horse to the top of that hill and dig a hole and they dump you in and put your tombstone in. Every member of my family is buried up there. But you know, first Eric, they've got to get you out of one of these godforsaken places. Uh, my people will come for me. Haul you all the way back to Colorado. They'll come for From me. northern India. Now it's about uh, five in the morning. We're getting ready to head back over to Cardong Law. I'm getting better, still a little rough. I just gotta keep watering me. I'm passing all my water right now. Hopefully not crap myself. As you can tell, it's pretty dark out. And here we go, back over Cardong Law Pass, our favorite road. And it's early. It's uh, 5 a.m. leave the house time. It's our last day of primary shooting. And we're gonna go from camels and sand dunes to glacier ice in one day. We're on the bumpy last bit. This is not Eric's filming. <laughs> This is the, definitely the road. the road. I thought I was sorted this morning, but these past couple of meters have just regurgitated a few old sentiments from the other day. I'm just glad I have totally tight sphincter muscle. <laughs> <Don't want one. laughs> What's impressive, Luke? What is going on? Training. Yeah, yeah. Training kind of acclimatize for the Oh, to get out. Oh, so they spend weeks getting yeah, ready yeah. to go up on the glacier. Having some ginger tea for the stomach tastes good. Everybody's staring at me. <laughs> it's Larkin. He he was feeling the worst, and now he's feeling the best. Oh, you're filming? Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> to solid stomachs again. Mm. just driven for four hours. We slept at 5 a.m. in the morning on the other side of that range into, we were just discussing the car, we reckon this is our most remote place we've ever been. And to top it off, on our last day of filming, we're gonna film on some camels in sand dunes up here, sandwiched between the Karakum and the Himalayas. Beat that. So with aerials here, it's going to be a little tricky because our sand is a small area and our sun is, is our shadow will be directly towards most of the sand. So we're going to have to be very specific, probably staying pretty low with the copter. But it's cool. It's a really stunning sight. I'm very excited about it. You're going to be uh, shooting camels? We're going to be... What? That? <laughs> oh, I thought that was your assistant. <laughs> How are you doing? You ready? I think talent's ready. If you see the helicopter on that side, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't Okay, so what we'd like him to do is take um, from take them out there, okay, and from this edge, yes. kind of in the center, go all the way to that edge. Okay, fine. And then we'll go all the way back. We're gonna want you guys out of the way as much as possible. You ready? Okay, let's well, take off. On YouTube, subscribe. I did the thumbs up, subscribe thing. You didn't do this thumbs up. I did, up. I should do it again. I'll do yeah, it again without the thumbs up. Uh, At least I didn't do the SNL laser beam thing. Although that is pretty cool. <laughs>